Hi, welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm a competition consultant, developer and course instructor, and I help companies, startups, and developers to easily and efficiently build competition projects. We're going to see now traffic management, and we're going to see the specific four different things about traffic. First, why is it traffic management important? We will see some real example on intersections on why this is important and very useful and why uh, government, city council request traffic management. Second, we will see how they are now processing this information that they get from the CCTV cameras, because now if they don't have any advanced solution, there is already a way uh, how they process this information. Third, and this is a very crucial, important part of this video, especially if you are here, how can computer vision improve this by making this at a lower cost, more, more efficient, more scalable, and in real time. And fourth, we're going also to get into technical stuff. So we will see a real prototype that I built with Python and OpenCV. I will show you, I will give you some tips on how you can build such things. Also, I will give you uh, some links to get the sources where you can find uh, the full code and also the full explanation of the, the entire prototype that I built also talking about some real examples and hardware that you can use for this. Uh, now, in order to understand why is this project very useful and requested by companies, we're going to take a look at some real video footage from a CCTV camera, which focuses on an intersection. And this specific moment is in, uh, I would say, a busy moment of the day where there is some traffic. There are a lot of variety of reasons why you might need, like the government city council might need traffic analysis, but the four most important are, first one, they might want to identify traffic violations. The second, they want, might want to identify the speed. They might need to check like the density of the traffic, or also they want, based on the traffic, apply some automation. Now let's also go a bit deeper into all of these things that uh, are necessary. So um, I'm going to take a screenshot from this footage. So, so this is a screenshot. Let's now talk about the traffic violations, especially the most common ones in the intersection. So if you drove in a big city, one very common traffic violation is not to follow like the arrow. So here, uh, let's take an example here. There are three lanes. Uh, the, the middle one allows you only to go straight. So you can go only to this direction. The right one will allow you to go on the right direction. And this left one, either you can come back to that lane or you can go to that direction. A very common traffic violation is that this car on the right side that is allowed to go only on this direction will start very fast and go straight. So cutting the line to this car that is at the center. And this is very dangerous because there are only two lanes here. And if the car that is going straight will enter on the, on the right lane, it might happen some crash right here. So these are very, very common traffic violations that happens in big cities. Uh, other traffic violations might be in the same way, cars that are going where they're not supposed to be or that they are cutting uh, uh, like cars that instead of following, for example, uh, the right line right here, maybe they are just cutting straight and going to that lane. So of course, it depends on the intersection. There might be many, some cars that it's going to a lane that it's not supposed to go because there, there is the straight line and so on. So of course, uh, the, the most important thing why this is requested is when they notice that a lot of accidents are happening and they want to lower the amount of accidents, they want to solve this problem. So it's good to, to have a clue of why are they happening and how often are, are the cars doing some violation. So this is a very good reason why they might need this problem. Uh, the, the second one, I guess I said, uh, the second one was speed. So again, if you track the car, 
you might want to check that this car is not going 100 kilometers per hour, for example, and they follow uh, the exact speed intersection, especially if there are pedestrians. So again, I will say speed. The, the reason why we want to track speed is always for safety. So if there are pedestrians and the car are going too fast and some accident, uh, bad accidents happen there. So that's something that you want to check and to solve. And so it's good to have a real time counting of are they speeding? In what time are they speeding? And what is the most dangerous moment, uh, especially if if you notice that in the time that the cars are speeding and that's the same time that, I don't know, it might be some club which is close to the road and people are crossing, a lot of people are crossing, might be very dangerous. So that's uh, one reason why you could do this. Uh, and then density estimation. This is uh, a project requested to understand what's the flow of the traffic. And this is requested usually when they want to either make a new road or to improve the intersection. So to have a better flow of the traffic. Mm, so that's why they, they check uh, the density, especially in like the most busy hours so that uh, in the next few years they can build a new road to make this improvement. And it will be not a random road just expanding, but it will be a uh, very focused on improving like where is necessary so the if you build a road it must be necessary because you want to diverge the traffic in some specific way and then another uh, another thing might be automation so uh, a request i got is automation so after let's say a third number of cars pass you can activate the traffic light so it will it will not be anymore a traffic light based on time, but it will be a traffic light based on the flow. If there are 1000 car and only two people, uh, for example, it does there, or if there are 1000 car and there are no people at all, it doesn't make sense to switch on the, uh, the red, the, the green light for people if no one needs to cross. So it will be this, it will make the flow much uh, smoother if there is something that uh, can detect this in real time. This is what companies, city council, governments need. And let's now understand what are they doing right now if they don't have any advanced solution? How are they solving this problem? Or now mostly they're working in the traditional way, having some person in front of the computer who is watching either the cameras in real time or video footage later to make some estimation. For example, if they want to make an estimation of the traffic in a specific time frame and they want to make an analysis, they might record video footage, save the footage, and then having some person like writing exactly how many cars were passing, how many vehicles, in what time frame. Usually they, they might take like 15 or 30 minutes and make an estimation because if usually uh, the, the, there is some balance in the traffic. So if they make an estimation, for 50 minutes for the full hour and or otherwise they might be sending a full video to external companies so they might be outsourcing all this work if they don't have an internal team to do this to external companies they will send the video footage and then they will get back what uh, what is the information that they need like based on what i told you at the beginning this is very uh, expensive if it has a high cost to do this all this job manually it's not in real time it's absolutely not efficient and nowadays there is no reason why you should do this manually when the technology is, is advancing so fast so quick and can work better than human do can work faster and more efficient so let's now see how can computer vision in, uh, help with this how it can improve this and let's also get into technical stuff let's see a, a real prototype of how this works and let's now talk about simple prototype that i built to check the direction of the traffic so this the the density mostly of from which path the car are going and where they are going so what i did was i divided this intersection in four different paths where we have Let's, if we call this one path A, 
then we have this one right here that we can call B then we have you can guess what we have C and it's this one right here let's call this one C and then the last one will be D so I'm using the letter just to simplify the paths so this will be D the goal is to understand uh, what where car are starting from and where they are going for example if the cars are leaving so how many cars are leaving like the path a and where are they going are they going to the path b mostly or are they going to d or are they going to c and this is an analysis that helps you to understand to help the traffic flow so if you want to either build a new road or simplify somehow the flow this is a way to do that and so this is a very quick simple explanation of the product that i built and now i want to show a footage of this how it's working so this one that you see is a video that i saved with my prototype working where there is computer vision tracking the cars and also understanding the flow of the cars uh, you see for example information ca cb cd so it's telling where the car are going and so for each one we have the the estimation and this is something that can be applied on later on a video footage so this can be processed by computer vision on a later time if you take uh, if you take the the video footage we you put it on a computer on the computer with such prototype it will do the counting this could work in real time so if you want to have this in real time in a specific intersection or in a road to have maybe in real time it's not necessary to make this analysis so it, it would be like an extra effort to put this in real time but if you want to uh, check the traffic value violations on automation you can of course have the same in real time because computers are so fast that can process this in real time and i also can build such software so if you're looking to build such software and you need support you need someone to do that you can feel free to con to contact me from the link down below so there are there are consultation services uh, software built from scratch based on your needs but also the prototypes so the specific prototype with all the source and this is all for this project so remember check the link down below in the description if you want to know more if you want the code if you want support if you want to build such project uh, if you like this video remember to subscribe to the channel because i will be releasing similar videos about such projects and also everything related to computer vision if you have any questions you can check the comment section and put it there this is all for now see you in the next video